Hi guys, we are doing an experiment here today. We would like to demonstrate the sonic consistency between all different kinds of DPA microphones. We have lab mics, we have shotgun mics, we have super cardioid mics. Right now I'm speaking into the 4018 capsule. It's a super cardioid mounted on a C preamp for a very compact solution. If we wanted even more compact, we could use this, the uh, MMPE preamp, the uh, active cable. It has a very low um, profile, so we can use it in, in the very, very low ceilings. This one here is mounted with a Rycote baseball. It's for outdoor use, like here. We have a, a light wind, so uh, we need some wind protection on these super cardioid mics. If I don't want to use a super cardioid mic like this, I could use the lav mic that I'm wearing here. The lav mic is an omni mic, and it's not as uh, sensitive to the wind as the cardioid mics, the super cardioid and the shotguns. And speaking of shotguns, right here we have the 4017. That's the super uh, shotgun, the shotgun that we have. It has uh, two filters built in on the B preamp. It has a high boost and a low cut filter. We're not using these filters today because we want it as neutral as possible. Also here, very, very discreet. The, uh, the white wind jammer here holds a 6060 microphone. It has the, also uh, an omni uh, characteristic. So uh, it doesn't really matter which way I point it. Nevertheless, I have it here in a four-way clip. If I rotate myself and go into the car, I have hidden in the sun visor the 4097. Close the door. 4097 up here. I hope this demonstration shows you how easy it is to work with all these microphones. Shotguns, labs, miniatures, everything around the microphone is changing all the time. But if the microphones are consistent, it should make it a lot easier to work with in post. Seatbelt! <laughs>